my dear friends, dear Christians, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we are being connected with the youth who came to Krakow, Poland from each corner of our globe. We are pleased to be connected with them. I'm pretty sure that you watch the reports in different TV channels and you see the enthusiasm of the young people who are connected because we sent from our church of Our Lady of Częstochowa in Boston a big group they just left recently. They took our petitions. They will pray for us and they are so grateful because through our help, some of them uh, were able to go and participate. The world is so happy to see the crowds of young, smiling, joyful and enthusiastic people. We know that our world today is kind of crazy. It's so complicated. We know that the worries of tomorrow, very often they put us down. But when you see the young people who came from all over the world just to share their faith, to tell the world that there is love and unity, there is a joy, and Jesus is the answer. We are searching for peace everywhere. We know that people are fighting terrorism and so on. That's the daily bread almost. But we know that Jesus has the key, the key to the peace of the world. So today we are here praising our Lord and we say thank you, John Paul II, who started this wonderful movement because we know that the young people are the future of our families. They are the ones who will uh, take the faith and present the faith to the future generations. They are the future of the church. They are the future of each and every country. So we pray together with them for peace around the world, for peace in our families. We pray for the future of this country we live, the United States of America. We pray for our families, that they will be strong. We pray for our young people, that they will open their hearts to Jesus and enthusiastically share our faith with them. They came to Poland. Poland is a special, special country. This year we celebrated 1050 anniversary of, of the Catholic Church. Can you imagine? The history is so rich. The Polish nation gave to the world, to the church, so many saints. You remember Nicholas Copernicus. He is known as a great astronomer. But many people don't know that he was a priest. And in fact, he was a parish priest just maybe 25 miles from my home in Olsztyn. There is a beautiful monument in front of the cathedral. We have John Paul II, the recent saint, the wonderful Pope everybody loves. We have uh, Jerzy Popiełuszko, the one who passed away for Jesus, for truth. I have my friend, Father Zbyszek, who was a missionary, Franciscan missionary, and he died in Peru with, her, with his colleague uh, Michael. And we have so many. So we are glad that young people came to that country and they will be fed with the faith of the nations. So 
Let us pray for them. Let us pray for our families that they will be strong, that we will understand that God is the future, that Jesus is our love, and we shouldn't be afraid. Jesus is on our side. Jesus is always there. If we act alone, we are, we are weak. We are confused. We don't know how to solve the problems. But if we love God and act with Jesus, then we are strong. So the future is bright. God is always on our side. We shouldn't worry too much. We should just try our best to pass the message and go out and preach the gospel of the Lord. When we go out of the church or any church on Sunday, we are entering mission territories. So brothers and sisters, remember that. Do your best, pray, keep smiling, do your best, and God will do the rest. Amen.